It's that part of the year when we see NVIDIA versus AMD news, and nothing excites me more. Although being a gamer, a very biased gamer. To be honest, I am always team red. But this move of the green excites me more, as they have decided to revolutionize both the software and hardware sides of AI. So yeah, it's pretty much like, yo, you support AI, I'm on your team. But I'm not replacing my Ryzen 9 7950X 3D anytime soon. So what did NVIDIA come up with? Let's find out. The tale started with an NVIDIA keynote at Computex in Taipei, the CEO of NVIDIA. The brilliant Jensen Wong took to the stage and unveiled a series of groundbreaking products and services that are poised to dominate the entire AI landscape. Imagine a world where data centers can achieve a mind-blowing 44 times more work while consuming less than one-third of the power. Jensen demonstrated that by using Intel or AMD CPUs with new NVIDIA GPUs. This extraordinary feat becomes a reality. The GPU server is no longer just a computer. It has transformed into the heart of the data center itself. Gone are the days of striving for the most cost-effective server. The new objective is to construct the most cost-effective data center yourself. For a jaw-dropping $10 million, you can acquire 48 GPU servers that consume a mere 3.2 gigawatt hours while delivering a staggering 44 times the performance. In another remarkable revelation, Jensen introduced the DGX H100 GPU systems, which, when implemented in data centers, can achieve approximately 150 times the work with the same power consumption. Furthermore, it costs a mere 4% of what you would typically spend on powering a large language model. And believe me, this is only scratching the surface. But that's not all NVIDIA has in store for us. Jensen also showcased the astonishing Grace Hopper Superchip, placing NVIDIA in direct competition with industry giants AMD and Intel for CPU-intensive data center workloads. Moreover, he unveiled cutting-edge networking technologies like NVWink and InfiniBand, which seamlessly connect numerous chips to create a colossal, supercomputer-sized GPU. That's not it about the Superchip. NVIDIA has joined forces with SoftBank to introduce the extraordinary Grace Hopper Superchip into SoftBank's cutting-edge distributed data centers in Japan. This partnership marks a significant milestone, as these data centers will have the capability to host generative AI and wireless applications on a shared server platform resulting in cost reduction and energy efficiency. The foundation of the SoftBank NVIDIA partnership is built upon NVIDIA's remarkable MGX reference architecture, which has already proven successful in collaboration with Taiwanese companies. This architecture empowers system manufacturers with modular reference design, enabling them to develop over 100 server variations optimized for AI, accelerated computing, and omniverse applications. Prominent companies such as AS RockRack, Asus, Gigabyte, Pegatron, QCT, and Supermicro are part of this dynamic partnership, driving innovation forward. But that's not all. Jensen Huang made another groundbreaking announcement. The Spectrum X accelerated networking platform, designed to elevate the speed of Ethernet-based clouds to unprecedented levels. The centerpiece of this platform is the Spectrum 4 switch boasting a mind-boggling 128 ports, operating at a staggering 400 gigabytes per second, delivering an astonishing 51.2T per second of raw power. Huang emphasized that this switch paves the way for a new era of Ethernet technology, incorporating adaptive routing, performance isolation, and in-fabric computing. To complement the Spectrum 4 switch, NVIDIA also revealed the Bluefield 3 SmartNIC, which works seamlessly with the switch enabling congestion control and ensuring optimal performance. The partnerships also didn't end just there. NVIDIA has partnered with WPP, the world's largest advertising agency, to revolutionize content creation. Together, they're developing a state-of-the-art content engine based on NVIDIA Omniverse. This cutting-edge engine will have the capability to produce high-quality photos and videos tailored explicitly for advertising purposes, opening up new possibilities in the world of marketing and visual communication. And that's still not all. NVIDIA's commitment to robotics shines brightly with the release of NVIDIA Isaac AMR, a comprehensive robot platform available to all robotics enthusiasts and developers, from chips to sensors. NVIDIA the Isaac AMR offers a full-stack solution, ensuring a seamless integration of hardware and software. At its core lies the groundbreaking Nova Orin chip, 
marking a significant leap forward in robotics technology. This full reference stack empowers innovators to create awe-inspiring robots with unmatched capabilities. To top it all off, Jensen dazzled us with various software solutions that NVIDIA has developed to complement its exceptional hardware. These innovations have already proven their prowess empowering massive large language models and AI avatars across various applications, from retail, customer service, manufacturing, and robotics to the immersive realms of video games and movies. Now let's shift our attention to AMD. In a presentation just three weeks earlier, they showcased the latest offering, the MI300X. It was shown running Falcon on a single GPU accelerator. They also showed a real-time generation of a poem about San Francisco. I am no poet, but yeah. The poem didn't look bad, but that is not what AMD was trying to prove. Rather, what AMD indeed demonstrated was the capability to run an entire 40 billion parameter model on a single AMD Instinct GPU. Remarkably, this achievement can also be replicated on an equivalent NVIDIA GPU. Yet what struck us was the apparent rush in AMD's presentation, the minimal focus on new chip designs and AI software solutions, and the overwhelming emphasis on the risk associated with a single vendor dominating the AI ecosystem. That vendor is obviously NVIDIA. So I put my search goggles on and jumped into NVIDIA's company page. Brimming with invaluable information, I managed to discover their financial section. Feast your eyes on NVIDIA's latest earnings, revenue breakdown, analyst expectations, and a myriad of plots tracking every vital indicator. It's safe to say that NVIDIA has established an indisputable dominance in the game. If you focus on AMD's presentation, on many occasions, they just admitted that they were new and they had scalability issues. Dr. Lisa also hinted that their growth might be higher or lower. Hey, AMD, what I just want to say to you is that you should not open up about your weaknesses so publicly. But we don't know exactly how big the market for AI accelerators is going to be. The competition between the two companies is not about CPUs. It is the GPU game in which now AMD seems to be lagging way behind NVIDIA and they own almost 80% of the market, where Intel GPUs can also be seen. Sometimes, developers who wish to utilize CUDA and over 4,000 AI and software libraries built on top of it will find themselves bound to NVIDIA's hardware. Furthermore, if different vendors adopt NVIDIA's hardware, they too will be locked into NVIDIA's software stack. Now, I must emphasize that I'm not alone in raising these concerns. Let's take a quick look at a clip from the All In podcast where three brilliant tech investors share their thoughts on NVIDIA's journey to potential monopolization. As you can see, the investors discuss NVIDIA's latest designs, including the incredible Hopper Superchip, which combines GPU, CPU, and memory, and it connects into a powerful system on a chip. This move positions NVIDIA to potentially establish an absolute monopoly, with their SDK CUDA becoming the go-to software layer for their H100s, Grace Hopper, and A100s. The question arises that how will hyperscalers like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Facebook respond to this? Will they surrender the market to NVIDIA, or will they rise to the challenge? While NVIDIA's innovations are undoubtedly impressive, it's important to note that other players like AMD, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon have the opportunity to develop substantive alternatives. We eagerly await announcements in the next two quarters that may shift the forecast and challenge NVIDIA's dominance. Lisa Su of AMD in particular needs to act decisively and make bold moves to compete in the deterministic AI chip realm. The stakes are high, and the hyperscalers can't afford to sit idly by. It's not just NVIDIA's DGX H100 GPU systems, Gracehopper Superchip, or networking technologies that pose a threat. NVIDIA's modular MGX server platform is a game changer, allowing for various configurations of GPUs, CPUs, and DPUs, tailored to different data center verticals. This platform's versatility and backward compatibility make it incredibly difficult for data centers to switch away from NVIDIA's ecosystems without incurring high costs. It's a strategic move that solidifies NVIDIA's position as the market leader. Could all these developments lead to another trillion dollars added to NVIDIA's market cap? While it may not happen overnight, the potential is undeniable. The AI and accelerator markets are expanding rapidly, and NVIDIA is well on its way to seizing the tremendous opportunity. They're going for the jugular, particularly when it comes to competitors like AMD and Intel. The time has come to see which companies will bravely compete and which will shy away from the challenge. Subscribe to Innovella because, hey, I'm always in front of my computer to research and compose every techie move around the globe. I've also made a video on how Google is changing the AI game with its new mechanism. Click on the video link popping up to watch now.
and I will see you there in a second.